Whenever I make a video, I can't know from the start if it's gonna work out. So I usually do some testing before I decide to start making the video, which is kind of stupid. So this time I decided to include the testing, which is hydro dipping, basically black magic. We're gonna start hydro dip Homer. That is such a strong, powerful smell. Let's see if this works. I am told this is how you're supposed to do it. Oh, I think I f***ed up. <coughs> oh, maybe I'm... Oh, am I supposed to touch it? Hey, it's PVA. Should be fine. This is the best part. You can hydro dip basically anything. Wood, plastic, all that stuff. And there is a bunch of patterns you can get with it. So this one is gears and clockwork and all that stuff. This one is probably my favorite, a little bit more colorful. And obviously we have the full carbon fiber. Now let me just touch the sequence of steps that we did here. We started with a primer, a few coats, a few careful coats of primer. Then we moved on to a few coats of white paint because the instructions told me to do so. And then we took a bucket and filled it with water. And then we put the film in just like so. And then we sprayed another activator that was so in incredibly strong that I thought I would die for a second. And then I slowly lowered Homer into the bath at an angle. I think my angle was too aggressive and it's why I don't have any film up here. And this is how it turned out. Honestly, he doesn't look like complete shit. Look at this. There, there is a little string going on, but the edges are really nice. Phone cases, it's a big business. And I came up with the brilliant idea to 3D print my own. Thank you very much, make anything for the STL file. And I came up with a brilliant idea to print my own and hydro dip to give it a cool pattern. Now, it's not like you can purchase the exact same carbon fiber phone case for like $2. <laughs> That's genius business. So now we're just doing the exact same sequence of steps that I told you about before. Prime, paint, bucket water, dip. Fun, interesting fact. These phone cases are made out of TPU, which is the same material that are often used to make real phone cases. I think it turned out pretty well. Flexible filament is always kind of a pain to print with. The thin bridging over the volume button looks kind of dookie, but we're just focusing on the backside. We're not trying to hydro dip the inside. It would be nice if the edges could be hydro dipped. I glued sticks on the inside so we could dip it. And I got nothing more to say, so I'm just gonna do a Batman transition.
Wow! It legit doesn't come off. Okay, I got a new batch of water because apparently you have to swap it out every single time. I got two of the phone cases. Let's do the gears next and the hippie one. All you need is a 3D printer worth a couple of hundred dollars. Basic knowledge of how it functions. You need TPU filament and you need a hydro dipping kit. And then you can start making these $2 phone cases. I stand by my statement, hydro dipping, black magic. And it wasn't even that hard. In fact, it was easier than I thought it was going to be. So big shout out to Aqua Graphics because they are responsible for me getting one of these hydro dipping kits. Everything you saw me use in this video was from that hydro dipping kit. So I'll make sure to give a link to their store in the description below. So right after the dipping, I washed off the PVA residue with some warm water. I let it dry and then I gave it a thin layer of clear coat. And this is now the final result. But I do want to see how durable the coat is, if I can bend it without it cracking and maybe try to scratch it. Wow, that really holds up pretty well. I did have to make this one twice, which was a little surprising because right before I did the carbon fiber and that turned out really, really well. And so I used the same settings, let's say. But as you can see, this one stretched, it warped, and it's especially visible if I put them side to side. Uh, so now sharing my newly founded knowledge, I think it may have been because I used too much activators, which is a little weird because I think I used about the same amount for the carbon fiber, which leads me to believe that the films may require different amount of activators to activate. And so using too much activator may stretch it. Two days later. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. We're moving up to 500,000 followers. Like it's absolutely insane. And here's a quick sneak peek of my next potential big project that I'm working on. I'm not, I'm not sure if it will be the next video. There's a lot of moving parts within that project, but it's definitely coming your way. And I also have a much bigger and better suited motor for the unicorn boat. I hope you will have an awesome day. See you again soon. Bye.